solidarity. Just a jam-packed scene behind us here in downtown L.A. Right now we're on 7th and Alameda. This is sort of the end point for the march. This started at 10.30 this morning. Workers on strike took off near the 300 block of South Grand Avenue. And as you can see, they're all gathered here now in front of a local McDonald's. Hundreds of people are out marching, mainly fast food employees, because they say they want their message to reach fast food chain owners. They're joining the tens of thousands of people nationwide who are all hitting the streets today for the same cause, to raise the national minimum wage to $15 an hour and the right to unionize. This is one of 300 strikes happening today. Now in California and New York, workers won a major victory this month with the states agreeing to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour over the next few years. And what these guys want is the right uh, to have that happen nationwide. And right now I want to bring in one of the members of the organization today. She's going to talk to us specifically about why they're out here and why what they're fighting for. Hi there, Vanessa. Hi. How, how are you doing today? Vanessa, tell me, what's the main message behind this today? Well, the main message is that today um, workers made history in California by winning $15 an hour, but there's still millions of workers across the country that are still struggling making poverty wages, and that needs to change because they're trying to make ends meet, trying to provide for their families. So we're standing here today in solidarity for all those who have not reached $15 an hour. That's why we're here today. It looks like you guys have close to a thousand people out here. Is that true? Yeah, we have close to that. Um, and we're coming from all over, and we want to show um, what union power can make and the difference that it can make when everybody stands together to make a difference. You know, on the other side of this also, a lot of people are saying that if we raise the minimum wage uh, to $15 an hour, we might be hurting some small business owners. What do you think about that? I don't think so, because we also talk to small business owners in other states where they thought that it was going to affect them and it didn't, they actually gave their opinions and they said, you know what, it has actually increased business because now they're able to compete with corporate companies like Walmart and other corporate companies that, you know, that um, they'll just be able to compete now. With. All right, Vanessa, thank you very much for your thoughts. Uh, and this morning, both Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton released statements in support of today's cause. Sanders saying not too long ago, the establishment told us that $15 minimum wage was unrealistic. And Hillary referring to her personal experience by saying, I've traveled across the country. I've met many hardworking Americans who have told me that $7.25 an hour is just not enough to support a family. And back out here live, this is the second march today in L.A. Protesters also took to the streets in front of a McDonald's restaurant in, on Manchester. Um, but again, as you can see, hundreds of people out here today fighting to raise the national minimum wage to $15 an hour. That's the very latest for now. We're live in downtown L.A. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.